Despite having so much economic potential, most of the rice husk ash produced are thrown on the landfills and on the river banks. Near industrial areas, these dumpings are a common view, and most of it remains unused and as a waste product. To earn money from it, first we need to understand what is a rice husk ash and what are its potential application to earn money. Only then, we can make value-added product from it. Rice hulls or rice husk are the hard protecting coverings of grains of rice and these are separated in rice mills by processing. The product is the brown rice which is further polished and the byproduct is the rice husk. In this rice mill, you can see the separated brown rice and the rice husk. The brown rice are further polished to produce white rice. In a single rice mill, tons of rice husk are produced, but for the estimation of all the rice husk quantity, it can be estimated directly from the production of rice. Rough estimate of 100 kilograms of paddy rice produces 72 kilograms of rice and 28 kilograms of rice husk. Again, 100 kilograms of rice husk when burned produces 25 kilograms of rice husk ash. In summary, 100 kilograms of paddy rice produces 28 kilograms of rice husk. That when burned produces 7 kilograms of rice husk ash. Looking at production of India, which was 210 million metric ton, rice husk is 59 million metric ton rice husk, and that burned is 15 million metric ton of ash, which is a huge quantity. This rice husk has cellulose, lignin, protein up to 85%, which are organic component, and has high energy content, and when burned produces heating value which are used to heat bolu in industries. Alternatively, it has also been gasified to produce syn gas, which are hydrogen and carbon monoxide and biochar, and in other purpose, such as making husk bore. Generally, Husk is not recommended for cattle feed, as it has low nutrient and high silica that may instead harm the cow. The rice husk ashes produced from industries are now being sold, but only a fraction, and its value can be multiplied to earn more, if it can be quality controlled. Realizing its economic potential, ash use-based research has boomed and showed its economic feasibility. Hurry to grab this potential. These rice husk ash can be used in steel industry cement industry, concrete making, bricks, admixture, source of silica, tire industry, water treatment, and all with profitable business perspective. Not all rice husk ashes are the same and the location of rice production and the burning type determines the property and the quality of the ash. The major component of the rice husk ash is the silica at maybe up to 95% and other minor components. The fly ash that is produced from burning coal is different and contains less silica. Rice husk ash contains mostly amorphous silica, which is a greater valuable item than crystalline silica, and this is affected by burning temperature and duration. The controlled combustion below 800 degrees Celsius produced ash, which has amorphous silica, and uncontrolled combustion above 900 degrees Celsius produces mostly crystalline form of silica, which is mostly non-reactive and useless. The form of silica can be easily tested in lab. The amorphous silica is a very good pozzolan and poses high cementing property. Similarly, the white and black color of the ash is determined by the content of carbon, which value is determined from the loss of ignition test. If carbon is low, then color of ash is white, whereas black for higher carbon content and loss of ignition. This carbon content should be low for using it for its cementious property, which works same as that of OPC cement. The carbon content can be reduced by benefication process, but it adds extra cost. So, burning of rice husk should be regulated for best product and produced ashes should be tested for its properties before using. Hence knowledge of this is essential. The silica is one of the abundant materials in earth crust found abundantly in sands and in rocks, but all of the silica is in the crystalline form, and transforming it to amorphous form needs high energy and costs. So husk ash, which is amorphous, is a cheap product. Now, 
let's look at the potential economic application of the rice husk ash in different industries. The rice husk ash has been used as a tundish powder, which is a low-value product in steel production. The tundish is the vessel where molten steel is filled. Husk ashes are thrown on top of the tundish after it is filled with molten metal. The role of husk ash as tundish powder is to prevent rapid heat loss from the steel surface and reoxidation of the steel. These qualities make husk ash an excellent insulator to prevent the rapid cooling of steel and to ensure uniform solidification during the continuous casting process of steel. But at this higher temperature, amorphous silica changes into crystalline, which can also cause lung cancer. The amount of tundish powder used in steel production ranges between 0.52. 0.7 kilograms per metric tons of steel produced, but even it is widely used, rice husk ash economic value in this purpose is very low. Another way to introduce rice husk ash in cement manufacture is by using it as clinker substitution. Researchers have shown that for every one kilogram of cement, approximately 0.66 kilograms of carbon dioxide gas is released into the atmosphere. The increasing demand of cement leads to higher rate of environmental degradation and more exploitation of natural resources for raw material. On average, it has been shown that rice husk ash's clinker substitute can be up to 25%, and the loss of ignition of husk ash used can be from 2 to 4%. The high silica content of rice husk ash makes it an equivalent, or better, clinker substitute than coal fly ash which is extensively used in Portland pozzolanic cement production, as husk ash has more pozzolanic cementious property. There is need to reduce the amount of expensive clinker. Also, it can be used in making of concrete. The amount by which cement can be replaced with rice husk ash depends on the type of concrete desired, as well as the nature of the rice husk ash. Research has showed that the concrete with 15% of cement substituted by husk ash retains similar or better compressive strength than not using cement substitution. Concrete strengths from using different proportion of husk ash with 2% loss of ignition as cement substitute. We see that strengths begin to decrease after 20% of husk ash substitution. It is beneficial to the development of concrete in the direction of higher strength as well as better performance and reduces the cost of manufacture. The third and most valuable option is to use as replacement of microsilica admixture. Silica fume, also known as microsilica, is an amorphous silica. It is an ultra-fine powder collected as a byproduct of the silicon and ferrous silicon alloy production. It consists of spherical particles with an average particle diameter of 0.5 micrometer. This makes it approximately 100 times smaller than the average cement particle. It fills the voids in concrete and make it non-porous and gives strength. Grinding of husk ashes and quality control can make full or partial replacement of the very expensive microsilica admixture with rice husk ash. Another revolutionary application of rice husk ash is in the production of rice husk ash brick, which is almost same as making fly ash brick. Fly ash brick was invented by two Indian investors in 1990. Using a mix of coal fly ash, lime, or cement, cement can be used which has almost 60% of free lime in it, and gypsum to make brick which is strong, light, and durable. More than 16,000 fly ash brick plants are now operating, using up to 20 million metric tons of fly ash yearly. Fly ash bricks are now considered to be one-sixth of India's brick production. The rice husk ash can easily replace fly ash to make brick. In a study conducted, we see that the highest compressive strength using rice husk ash occurs when a brick uses a 50% rice husk ash, 30% lime, and 20% gypsum to make brick. The compressive strength at 28 days is around for megapascals. The water absorption at this composition is 16.9%, which is less than the 20% as per standards. Rice husk ash bricks have the added benefit of not requiring firing, which reduces the cost of fuel as well as carbon emission when compared to fired clay bricks and is an economically sound choice can also equates to environmental benefits. The fact that rice husk ash is less toxic than fly ash as fly ash contains many heavy metals. This can be a competitive advantage for using rice husk ash over coal fly ash in making brick. In the making of clay fired bricks, 
Having rice husk ash as an admixture showed lower compressive strength and higher percentage of water absorption when compared to the conventional clay bricks, which limits its use in fired clay brick manufacture. Also, for higher percentages of rice husk ash, the edges were found to be irregular in nature. Hence, rice husk ash is not recommended to be used as an admixture with clay bricks. In the sector of agriculture, rice husk ash can have minor impacts to be used as fertilizer, to give small amount of micronutrient and to decrease soil acidity but only 3% the equivalent of lime. The lime equivalent of different wood ash may vary in the range of 25 to 60%. So rice husk ash is entirely different from wood ash and wood ash decrease acidity of soil. Too much greater levels. The only trusted use of rice husk ash is ability of soil to increase the water, holding capacity, and high pH can kill pests. There are many products that can be made from amorphous silica from rice husk from the production of silica, gel which works as desiccant, which works to absorb moisture, used in the manufacture of precipitated silica and activated carbon. In treatment of turbidity of water, in the manufacture of tires, as abrasive in toothpaste, as oil, and heavy metal adsorbent, and in so many other useful purposes. It has so much economic potential, but, the present reality is that, its potential is not being realized and most of the produced ashes are dumped in the landfills. Its use will benefit the environment and will give ways to earn money from it, and it will be a valuable material of the future.